Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. We are still here at this beautiful site, but today is our last day and we are leaving. Some of us have already left and we're going to catch up to them. But um, last night, Dave was nice enough to uh, fix my condenser and get some airflow back into Panda because it was all jammed up here. I'll just show you the clips. Homer helped him out. No, nothing sharp in here. No knives, no razor blades. <laughs> We're not gonna put no holes in nothing, honey. Get that out of here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get my chair and uh, like I said, don't things, do. uh, oh, yeah. Well, it's just a matter of days. Yeah, that's why she's not getting there. Even one at a time. Because the radio is thin, you just gotta run it down, straighten yeah, up the radio's, radio's and Yeah, the radio is radio. And run it down. Yeah. And straighten up the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Run it down, straighten up the. Oops. And some of them are gonna be fragile and half ripped off because they're bent over. Yeah. Um, I know I had to do mine on the. Better of getting these open. Yeah. And that's why I'm gonna get my comb. I'm gonna get them started. And yeah. the, the comb will even actually straighten them out and space them evenly. It'll look. It'll even look nice. They don't have to be perfect, but you just got to get air through. Yeah. I wanna... So do you want to explain what you're doing? Well, Panda here seems to have some airflow restrictions. Um, whatever happened here, um, somebody or something bent these things over, and they're uh, not letting air through to the radiator. Uh, Is that the condenser? The air conditioner condenser. Um, but the, or evaporator core. I'm not an air conditioner guy. <laughs> I can never fix my own air. I can fix everything else on the, you know. Air conditioning systems ain't my thing, but it's either the air conditioning evaporator core or condenser. And they go all and they, down and they don't and they have act, air and, and it does the same thing. It's also a radiator yeah. of sorts. It has liquid that flows good. through it and it gets uh, cooled by the air going through it. So this is in front of the actually the engine radiator, which is more critical. That's why Panda runs hot. We need this 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 opened up so air gets through to your radiator and the engine will run cooler. We are restoring some airflow by straightening out all these little fins. Yeah. And you see the same things on the back of like your window unit, your air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and sometimes you'll see where kids played with them or something. They'll say, oh, what's yeah, this? Or, or, like or, or a stick. Or from things. carrying them, sometimes we'll mishandle them. People don't realize how fragile these are. You could easily take your finger. See that, right, see that yeah. damage I just did? Now I got to straighten out my own damage. These are very fragile. Yeah. And they need to be straightened out so the air gets through. Okay. And uh, once we restore some airflow, it will make a difference. This is blocked enough. It's probably, you know, 30, 30, well, on this side here and all along the bottom yeah, is real know. bad. <laughs> That's pretty okay. bad. It's probably 30, 40% airflow restriction. So we want to correct that. Get pan of some air, fresh air, she'll run cooler. Oh, yeah, it's sure gonna make a difference. <laughs> and they, yeah, they don't have to be pretty, they just have no, to be No, they open. just have to be open. Yeah. All they have to do is get them open because they're so smashed. They are, they really are smashed. They don't did that more. Really. Yeah, I don't know what would have got in the grill and monkeyed with us like that. Well, when they were putting it in or something. That's all it needed, it's all yeah, tucked. because you get all the bugs in there and stuff. Yeah, and hay and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta kind of blow them up. Yeah. Seeds and all kind of light airborne stuff gets in. Yeah. All right, I think I already straightened these here up. I can get my... Right. Actually, I have a... I can just do this here, Hammer. You don't have to hold that. No. Well, that's okay. I mean, you can, but... <laughs> yeah, you can see a lot of... A lot of Seems like a tedious process. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, and actually, I need to fashion up some kind of tool that I can do a couple at a time. 
but you'll f see a little. You'll see a lot difference in it once it is. Because I did that with my air conditioning, boy, about froze us out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you really say this air conditioner actually works, right? It does. So it'll probably actually work better, but that's secondary. We're, we're worried about your engine overheating. What is it, a little screwdriver? Yeah, you got a bit. Yeah, it's just. A, I just can't be too rough with it because these yeah. the, the tubes. If you look in there, you can see there's tubes. Yeah, there's a tube in there. Yeah, you don't want it. It actually would take a good bit of damage. Them. I mean, these are delicate, but the tubes are a little more tougher. But, but so you, I wouldn't. Yeah, you, know, you wouldn't want puncture them or anything. You yeah, they're not real delicate. You wouldn't puncture them too easily. Because my guy, when I was took my radio out, I, the guy said, "Next time, put a cardboard in because I broke a couple of those tubes because I tried to pull the." <laughs> and I went, "Ah, damn!" He got, "Yeah, I show you the best way to do that." He said. When you take it out of the radiator, put a cardboard between them. That way, you you pull it out. The cardboard protects the fins and the right. The little yeah, thing. that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And careful when you lay it down or lean it up against that radiator something. Guy did in Lake Stephen. There's one there that they're brothers and they they do that stuff and they do a good job. Boy, they they fix that one and it doesn't heat over even overheat anymore. My my RV used to overheat all the time. Once they took that radio out and boiled it out, boy, that's what it needed. Clean that sucker out of there and just ran like a top. <laughs> Made it run smoother. Yep, it's a bit tedious. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's one of them pick up a chair and get a chair and yeah. See, I'm gonna cut like yeah, a half inch of my comb off. Like this. I know. I haven't even got to that yet. So I cut off a piece of a comb. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just fashioning up a little homemade tool to make this. Uh, it's it, it's about the right spacing. We yeah. can we can run it through here and, and uh, straighten out the fence. Yeah, get get the like the original spacing back a little bit better. We'll see how this works out. So you have to get, kind of get them part way open to begin with, right? Mm -hmm. And then and then run this through and oops, that one didn't. This one's pretty bad. I'm just not ready for the comb yet. I gotta. I got some more screwdriver work to do on some of these. Put it in there. I've got two rockings already running for half an hour or something. Let's get that shit up and flush it out. Oh, yeah. I've taken them out, turned them upside down, back flushed them. <laughs> yeah. Look at where they boil it. You know, because it's yeah. metal. They can boil it right out and you fix it up. Man, that guy was good. Yeah. I mean, you got better luck. Look, put a poke at him. Well, what an awesome job they did. It looks much better. Oh, yeah. We got some airflow going on there. <laughs> yeah, we got some airflow now. So they worked on it last night and then Dave came and finished it up today before I got on the road. Looks good. Thank you. Thank you, Hummer. Panda's uh, mouth is back on. <laughs> and her eye sockets. <laughs> Put the eye socket back in. <laughs> Light a little bit. Yeah, that one does too. So I'd say that took you a bit longer than an hour. Well, you know, I could have got it corrected. Yeah. <laughs> the worst of it corrected. Right. I rushed it, but I was in no hurry. Yeah, something like that. You spend a little bit of time and do the best job you can. Yeah, it turned out good. I appreciate it. You did very, very well. I enjoy helping and fixing things. And, yeah. Uh, hopefully it'll give her better airflow too. Yeah. That's what she needed. <laughs> as long as we got that open up where it can get oh, a lot more air in there to the radiator and back. That's what she needed. I'm very appreciative that they took the time to fix that for me. He had offered to do it and I said sure, why not? So they took the grill off and as you saw they fixed it. We are going to be getting on the road here in a minute. Well, I hear a train across the river. And we're going to go down 14, 
but I believe we'll be crossing the river and getting back onto 84 in Oregon. There are two trains, one that runs in Oregon and one that runs right by the campsite, but they haven't been too loud. This really has been an awesome camp spot. So Carolyn has already left. No, not um, the Carolyn I used to hang out with. And Homer and Kat are going to be heading their own way. They have to go see family. And I believe Dave's going to be going with us. He might be going to do something. And, of course, the regular group, which is myself, Terry, and Scott. And, of course, Jimmy's with us now. The family was parked over there, but they had some shopping and laundry to do, so they left yesterday. I didn't really put that much out, but I've got everything packed up. I did bring my bike down so we could run into town, but it is packed up as well. One more, come on. <laughs> Up. There's the train on the Washington side. You ready to go, Momo? Go. All right, well, we're heading on. I've got to go to a grocery store and get some supplies. So we're going to go to the Dells, which is D A L L E S. Continue on Roosevelt Ferry Road for one mile. And it's about an hour away from here. going in or coming out there are sheep there also saw uh, llama yama in 1000 feet i didn't see it that time will do we stopped at the local convenience store right on the corner 4.99 breakfast they also have daily specials oh my god fish and chips that sounds so good I was going to grab me something to eat, but I decided if I ate something too heavy, we have about an hour to drive, I'd be lazy and not want to drive. So, I decided against it. Although it did look good. What was it? Uh, they had just like breakfast burritos and um, breakfast muffins. And then there was the fish and chips, which is what I was like. It was $6.99. I was it like, would go 99 I know. That's why I decided against it. What right. was the breakfast special though? It was the, uh, there was three of them. They had um, breakfast uh, burrito, breakfast muffin, and then there was another one, so. Oh, I see, okay. 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 Yeah, I, I can't eat like that. I no. will not function with Okay, let's get on the road. We got some horsies hanging out. Oh, one white one by itself. Yeah. orchard out here. I'm not sure what tree that is or what they're growing. Maybe some kind of nut tree. I think I heard they have walnuts out here. Could be. It is pretty scenic. It says 
these rocks next four miles. Looks like it's because all of these sharp cliffs next to the road. Off in the distance you can actually see Mount Hood still covered with snow. So pretty. Wow, those wind turbines are just popping up everywhere. There's some on top of the mountain. And they're getting some good wind up there. Oh, wow, a lot of cows. <laughs> oh, we gotta climb the hill. We are passing John Day Dam to the left. Can't really see anything. Looks like a lot of abandoned buildings and stuff. Oh, this is a steep climb. Go, Panda, go! <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Yeah, this is definitely steep. Yep, we're definitely climbing. You can see way down there. <laughs> God, that was so steep, but Panda made it, and her temperature didn't get too hot, so I guess that did help, what they had done earlier today and last night. Awesome sauce, right? We are at the top of the mountain. <laughs> a shot of the huge wind turbines on top of the mountain. And there's a better shot of Mount Hood in the distance. I guess once we get through this little valley right here. 